So, uh, so here is the uh, Barcelona classification. Just uh, look at the advanced stage. And this is uh, the version of 2018, the portal invasion and um, liver advancement uh, is uh, the indication only to systemic chemotherapy, as you see, and no options uh, are applicable to these patients. However, some authors uh, from China, having analyzed uh, uh, all existing um, classifications uh, for hepatocellular uh, cancer treatment, HCC, we see that uh, uh, certain options are available at earlier uh, stages and see the shift to chemoembolization towards CIVIT. And this um, methodology is an alternative to drug treatment. Another classification of 2012 uh, by Bolondi and uh, uh, colleagues. He comes uh, uh, with four subgroups uh, for HCCC based on patient status uh, and other criteria. And uh, he offers uh, options and guidelines uh, possible for these patients, uh, along with alternative uh, methodologies. And uh, in 2012, this author came up with Quasi-C group uh, for uh, very advanced stages of HCC. Uh, for example, tromposis with the of portal vein uh, uh, and subsegmental branches. And here, uh, he says that uh, the chemoembolization is possible, and we just had a presentation on that. An interesting algorithm of HEC patient treatment um, offered by Japanese Society of Hepatology. And they describe a group of patients uh, where transarterial um, chemoembolization is possible. Here we have the classical um, definition with um, nodes 3 and up. Uh, TAC uh, is possible. This classification is good because uh, thrombotic patients uh, uh, with one or two nodes, uh, transarterial uh, um, embolization is possible. However, if we look uh, into the nodes uh, for the classification, it is uh, an exclusion. Uh, and it comes uh, the TACE refractory. Uh, so when we can uh, stop with the embolization and come uh, with the next method of treating. The author says that there are uh, two um, non-efficient uh, responses after transarterial embolization. So if uh, like uh, more than 50% uh, of uh, tissue is alive or uh, if uh, you see the progression, and the patient had uh, the market and the market is growing. So with all this combination, uh, probably you have uh, to use uh, other treatment options, uh, not uh, uh, transarterial um, embolization. This uh, uh, classification we saw by ESMO, it is different from Barcelona. It includes uh, early and very early uh, disease stage. Uh, this is the classical in the middle. And however, the systemic chemotherapy is uh, growing, and little by little, it goes more into intermediate uh, HCC stages. And there are no understand. There is no understanding of local methodology in this classification, and we're a bit worried uh, in selecting patients. National recommendations are quite clear that. Uh, um, um, TACE is used when there is non-resectable tumor without invasion, without thrombosis, and without outside of liver disease manifestation. It is not recommended when Patients uh, have uh, uh, decompensated liver cirrhosis and thrombosis of uh, uh, main veins. So, 
Russian guidelines uh, is quite specific uh, when it comes to counter indications. Uh, say we said uh, um, when the lesion is above uh, 75 percent uh, of the tissue, liver tissue, uh, then the use of methodology, uh, transarterial uh, um, chemoembolization, if done in stages, in fact, improves the survivability. But we talk about local, uh, um, uh, super selective, uh, we are not talking about segmental impact. Uh, See, so these are absolute uh, counterindications. There are le relative uh, counterindications. Um, the two big segments. Uh, coming back uh, uh, to the absolute counterindications, if we have uh, the tremposis of uh, turn vein. And however, if there is segmental thrombosis, still survivability can be uh, improved. If uh, um, the, the, the uh, arteria venous uh, fistula in liver exists uh, and cannot be occluded. This is without absolute uh, counterindications. Relative counterindications, uh, uh, if the tumor is above uh, 10 centimeters. However, many, many articles uh, say, say that um, it is possible, but um, we have to do CT first uh, and then uh, varicosis uh, can be uh, a counterindication. Um, First, uh, um, bypass must be done, and then, in safe conditions, we, we can deliver embolization. Uh, technicalities, uh, pre-operative uh, preparing of the patient starts uh, at the patient ward, uh, three to five days in our center. What we do? Uh, we take uh, tests and exams for the patients. We look. Uh, into liver ducts uh, and uh, try to avoid any post-surgery uh, infection. We, we do um, an prevention with antibiotics uh, and we try to avoid it, uh, uh, fever and we use uh, quite uh, serious drugs. Uh, and patients get it in full volume and full scope. Patients may have uh, some advanced uh, cirro um, cirrhosis transformation of liver. Uh, and for them, uh, transarterial uh, chemobilization uh, is tolerated better. Types uh, of uh, TAC quite a big uh, number of uh, interventions uh, uh, are done with a variety of um, drugs. Uh, oil it, uh, spheres are used quite often. Um, and uh, in Japan, up to 80% are done based on oil agents, uh, even uh, in uh, super selective cases. It allows to go as deep as possible uh, for the oil uh, drug, the chemical agent. However, TACE may be delivered with uh, impregnated and not uh, impregnated with cytostatic uh, microfields. Uh, uh, two different uh, carriers can be used uh, through a number of procedures. The list is long and many manufacturers uh, are available at the market. Uh, well, the reviews uh, which exist as of today and related to drugs uh, say the trust uh, coefficient uh, in the use of uh, drugs uh, is not determined yet. See, and therefore, we have to look into the technical possibilities in deliver delivering TACE and um, the um, work on the end uh, zone. There are many classifications, but there are no additional guidelines. In our oncological center, uh, we use uh, the uh, lateral arterial uh, with microspheres uh, and uh, oil, uh, radio arterial 
uh, embolization is not used yet, but uh, we cooperate with our colleagues. We do the training. We hope to be able to do it. Every patient uh, is under the individual follow-up. We can do the uh, single uh, TACE when there is just one node somewhere peripherally, or it can be a stage TACE um, when, uh, for example, um, it is uh, spread and there are many blood supply uh, sources. As for the dosage of uh, the drug, um, well, the author mentioned uh, uh, suggest uh, that um, in one vial of uh, saturated microparticles, so with the uh, loading from 75 to 100 milligram doxo uh, bits in per procedure. If it's outside the uh, Milano criteria, then up to uh, two uh, vials per procedure. That's the example of one uh, stage of um, a TE, a CE, one a stage in a solitary tumor node. And uh, uh, embolization is um, done rather well. Well, uh, per one procedure, it happens that we do the whole. And then in three or six months, again, we do the second area. And thus we obtain a, such a, a result. See, there is no devascularization of the node at all. Other uh, methodological aspects, which particles uh, to choose? Uh, the protocols uh, recommend uh, uh, the ones from 100 to 300 micrometers. Uh, the saturation time may be different. It's individual in different producers from 30 to 60 minutes. Many producers make uh, uh, spheres with um, uh, the uh, option uh, for a uh, solution. Uh, so it's uh, easier to work with uh, them. If this drug doesn't suit, you may leave it for a different patient, keep it in the fridge, and use it next day. A portal a fistula, and uh, that's a counterindication. It's important to determine uh, the uh, opportunity for selective and super selective catheterization. And of course, um, uh, the mix uh, should be introduced under fluoroscopy uh, control to avoid uh, complications. As for reflux, uh, non-standard arteries, uh, difficult uh, branches, uh, there are multiple tools uh, to manage such uh, things. There are catheters with um, uh, different uh, leads, uh, individual catheters, anti-reflux catheters are available, micro balloons are available. Uh, that uh, makes uh, the uh, TACE uh, quite um, effective. Uh, it's important to not forget the uh, following. Uh, the trans um, liver uh, dissemination in uh, classical uh, guidelines, uh, it is determined as involvement um, um, of any uh, organ besides the uh, bile. And uh, quite uh, often uh, we uh, see the parasite blood uh, supply and there are nodes if uh, there are more than six centimeters. Uh, in 17% uh, cases, you will see that parasite blood uh, supply. Here is a, a list of the kinds of this type of um, uh, blood uh, supply. 17% of um, uh, cases. The most uh, frequent source is the lower diaphragm artery, and that's up to 23% of um, uh, cases. Uh, so if it's uh, extrahepatic, uh, dissemination or not. One should consider that. Um, one should consider the location of different uh, segments, uh, starting from diaphragm, artery, uh, chest arteries, uh, mammary artery, renal artery, etc. Here is a clinical uh, case of a, a patient who had two uh, sessions of um, TACE, just uh, for illustration. Uh, here. 
credit uh, from uh, cancer. There's a, a very good uh, result uh, achieved in two years. There's a massive relapse, so a decision was made to do embolization of the diaphragm uh, artery and uh, one more uh, chestal, uh, chestal mammal artery. Um, there was a question about uh, stenosis. The modern tools enable us to pass uh, through different uh, arcades, uh, lateral sources, um, and still we can uh, selectively catheterize, catheterize the zone of interest uh, without stopping the uh, procedure. So what's the end point of embolization? When should we stop? If uh, uh, there is um, no blood flow in the target uh, vessel, uh, but that depends on the spheres uh, produced. Not with every sphere you can uh, partially um, restore the blood flow. You have to have some experience for you to understand when to uh, stop the procedure. If you didn't achieve the uh, stasis after one vial, another vial may be used. If you don't have it, uh, then you can uh, do the um, embolization once again after four or eight um, uh, weeks. A lipio uh, dough may be used uh, up till the moderate accumulation of embolite by the uh, tumor nodes. In um, Japan, they do that. But all these parameters are subjective. It's up to the operator. Uh, for assessment, we use resistance criteria. And if after the first course we achieve complete response, then the survival of such patients is manifold higher than the ones with no uh, response or partial uh, response. So that's uh, the transition point from transarterial chemoabsorption. That's a good option of uh, treatment. Um, one should uh, determine and have the individual approach to each patient. Uh, once again, same slide. Uh, if it doesn't work, you shouldn't uh, uh, discredit the methodology. Let a team work and try their best. Um, well, uh, hepatocellular cancer is a multidisciplinary topic, and a team of experts should treat such patients. Um, technologies are quickly developing, and uh, embolization remains uh, Topical. It's quite valid for treatment of patients with hepatocellular cancer. As for the methodology, staging of procedures, uh, there is no manual to explain how to uh, work in each uh, uh, certain uh, situation, unfortunately. And what's to be done in case of uh, uh, parasite blood sources? Again, there's no methodology in this regard, so it's up to the doctor, up to the operator. Thanks for the attention.